record. Okay. So we're going to start out with our normal warm ups. So we can just Yay. sit in whatever position is comfy. I like to do crisscross. If you prefer sitting in a chair, that is a okay too. And we're going to start out with some nice deep breathing if we can. So we're going to do a big deep breath in. And then we're going to kind of turn our body to the side and breathe out. We can face forward and breathe in. And we can turn to the side and breathe out. Face forward and breathe in. And turn to the side and breathe out. One more time, breathe in. And then turn to the side and breathe out. All right, great job. Now we're just gonna loosen up our necks with some neck rolls. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna draw the biggest circle that is comfy for you with the top of your head. So if that means a really small circle, that is a-okay. And if you can do a nice big circle with your head, that is amazing too. This one is just meant to kind of loosen up your neck, help us wake up a little bit. And of course, keep on doing some nice deep breaths while you're doing that. And while you're here, just try to relax a little bit. You can switch directions with your head if you're getting dizzy. Great job, everybody. All righty. We're going to do some shoulder stretches now, actually. We're gonna mix up the order a little bit. So we're gonna take one hand, we're gonna put it across our body, wave to the other wall, and we're gonna hug it to our chest. Just stretch out our shoulder. And of course, if you can't hug it all the way to your chest, that is fine. Just do whatever feels good for you. Try to stretch a little bit, loosen up. Then we can switch arms. We're gonna use our left arm now and we can wave at the door or the wall or whatever's there and hug our arm to our chest. All righty. And now what you can do is you're gonna take one hand and you can kind of reach behind and try to tap your other shoulder. And you can put your other hand on your elbow if you want and just tilt side to side. Loosen up the back a little bit, loosen up the shoulder. Great job. And now we can switch. So now you're going to just use your other arm and just try to tap yourself on the shoulder. And of course, if you can't reach your shoulder, you can just tap yourself on the side of the head, whatever you can reach. And then just put your elbow and your hand together. And you can kind of tilt side to side again. Great job. You can feel a light stretch, but definitely don't push it too far. All right, and you can shake your arms out. And now we're going to do our cat cow. So we're going to get on our hands and knees. And what you're going to try to do here is we're just loosening up our back. So of course, if hands and knees aren't comfortable for you, you can just bend forward and straighten out your back in an upright position if that's what works. But if you can, go on your hands and knees and you're gonna start by putting your stomach towards the ground and your head and your butt towards the sky. And of course, if you're sitting down, just arch your back as best you can, kind of sit super duper straight and almost lean back a little bit. Great job. And you can kind of wiggle a little bit if you want to, side to side, kind of like wagging a tail. Great job. And now we're going to do the reverse. So your back can go to the sky, head and butt towards the floor. And then if you're sitting down, that just means kind of like bend forward and put your head towards the ground.
Great job. You can again go side to side a little here. Rock forward and backwards. Sit up, no, put your knees on the floor. Yep. Great job. And you can put your back down again. And just one last time, head and butt towards the sky. Great work. <laughs> All righty, and then I like to do this one standing up, but you can do it wherever you have enough room. We're gonna do some arm circles. So just find a space where you just have enough room to move your arms and you're just gonna make biggest circles you can. Just kind of let your arms swing and have fun and be free. Nice, just some nice big swings with your arms. And you can switch directions. If you were going forward, you can go backwards now. Great work, just loosen it up. Awesome job, and we can just shake out our arms. All righty. That's gonna be it for our warm up stretches today. Now for our workout, we're gonna spend the entire day on the ground, all right? So we can just kind of sit down. I would definitely find a spot that has a little bit room and it's comfy because we are not gonna be moving. All right, and we're gonna start out with just some normal crunches, all right? So the way yeah. that works is you're gonna be lying down and then you're going to just sit up. You're gonna use your stomach you're gonna sit up a little bit. And of course you don't, though you're not doing a sit up. So you're not sitting all the way up. You're just lifting your body up a little bit until you can feel your stomach getting a little tight. So if you only can lift up a little bit, that is a-okay fine. And if you can lift up a lot, that is good for you as well, all right? So just do whatever feels good. We're gonna do it for 30 seconds and you can just go at your own pace. And if you need to take any sort of breaks, that is all right. So I like to kind of take my hands and I kind of like point them between my knees or I can kind of like float them by my chest and then I'll sit up and then go back down. All right, so whenever you're ready, we can get started. Great work, everybody. Halfway there. All righty. And you can just lie down and do a couple of nice deep breaths. Great work. I know sometimes you can kind of feel the burn in your stomach. We only have two more stomach exercises. We got this. All right. So take a couple of deep breaths. Let your stomach relax. And now the next one we're going to do is pretty similar. All right. So this one, we're going to be do crun doing crunches with a little leg lift. All right. So if this ends up being too tricky, you can definitely go back to the crunches we were just doing. That's fine. But with this one, when you crunch your stomach up, you're also just gonna pick up your feet a little bit. And then when you lie back down, you can put your feet back down. All right, that's the only difference. Otherwise, it's gonna be the same thing. So if you're having difficulty with the feet pickup, then you do not have to do it. You can go back to exactly what we just did. All right, so do a deep breath and then we'll get started for 30 more seconds, okay? Ready, set, go. We got this 15 seconds left, halfway there. If you need a break, you can totally take one.
You got it. Two more if you can. And last one. And you're done. Great job, everybody. And again, we can just kind of lie here. Do a couple of deep breaths. Great work. All right. And I'm going to demonstrate the last one. So the last one is going to be very similar. So this time we're going to put our feet in the air and they're going to stay there. And we're just going to reach up and try to touch our toes. All right. So the easiest version of this is if your legs are all the way up, kind of straight above you if you can. And then you have like not too far to reach. That's so kind of straight up. If you want to make it trickier, you can kind of put your legs out that way a little bit more and then lift them one at a time when you're going to do a crunch, all right? So if you're trying to challenge yourself, you can put your legs further out. And if you just want to do it just normally, you can put your legs straight up. And of course, if at any time this is not feeling good, totally stop and take a break, all right? Whenever you're ready, we can get started. And it's going to be, again, 30 seconds. Uh, ready and go. Halfway there, you got this. Try to do three more if you can. And you can just relax. Great job, everybody. That's gonna be it for the stomach today. I know that was probably a little tiring. All good, we can lie here for a couple more seconds. Couple deep breaths if you need water. Totally have some water. All righty. And our last exercise for the day is gonna be some glute bridges. All right, so we're just going to do 15 of them. So all how this works is we're just gonna be lying down in the same position we are now. We have our feet planted on the ground like that, just a little bit away from my butts. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift up our butt to as far as we can in the air, all right? And then we're gonna just let it go back down. All right, so that's the easiest level. If you just lift up, put it all the way back down, all right? If you wanna make it a little easier, you can do these and never put your butt down, all right? So you just like never relax your butt and you just keep going. So that's a little bit harder. And if this feels super easy to you and you wanna go crazy hard, you can pick up one leg and like kind of bend it like this and do a one leg at a time, all right? So I would definitely recommend just start at the easy level and you can ramp it up if it's too easy, okay? So mm -hmm. ready, we're gonna start lying down on the ground and then we're going to lift up our hips towards the sky and then we can put them back down, okay? So we're gonna do 15 of these. Go at your own pace, all right? Great work, just a couple more. All righty, and whenever you're done, you can just rest your butt on the ground. All right. I'm gonna give you guys about five seconds. You can just kind of take a couple of breathers. And then we're gonna do our cool down stretches. So to start out, I know, best part of the day. All righty. So we're going to start out with our standing up progressive straddle. So you're just going to stand and then you're going to lean over and let your arms dangle towards the floor. And you can just kind of relax and you can swing a little bit. 
Great job. And if you can just try to relax your arms, relax your back, just relax everything. Kind of just swing, pretend there's a breeze blowing you around. Great work and do a couple of deep breaths while you're doing this. Great job. And now what we're gonna do is we're just going to spread out our legs a little bit wider. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. So we can just lean over and let our arms swing like we're being blown by a breeze. We're just gonna try to relax. So definitely try to let your back relax and just think of yourself kind of melting towards the floor. Great work, everybody. Awesome. And now what we're going to do is we're going to stop being blown around, but we can see if we can touch the floor. And if you can, just definitely kind of hold it there. Do a little bit of a stretch. If you can't quite touch the floor, try touching your knees or your shins. That it's also totally okay. And you should feel a little bit of a stretch in your legs if you can. If you're not feeling the stretch and you're touching the floor, you can take your hands and you can walk them backwards a little bit behind you. That'll give you a little extra stretch. All righty, great job. And now we can sit back down and we can do a little knee hug. So just take whichever knee you wanna start with. And I have this knee curled around me, but you can also have this like straight in front, whatever's more comfy for you. And you're just gonna take one knee and you're just gonna hug it like it's your best friend. And you should feel a little bit of a stretch right here in your glutes if you can. Great job, do a couple of nice deep breaths while you're here. All right, and whenever you're ready, we can just switch. And we're just gonna hug the other knee as well. And definitely try to feel a little stretch here. Great job. And today we're gonna do a little bit extra with this one. So I don't know if you remember, we also have a stretch where we're gonna be lying down on the ground. And then we're just gonna take this leg and we're gonna cross it over and we're gonna look in the opposite direction. So we're having, for my example, my left knee is going across my body to the right side. And then I'm gonna look away from my knee towards the other wall. And this is one where you can just kind of relax and do some deep breaths right here. Great job, everybody. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna switch the leg now. So now my other leg is going over and I'm looking towards you all. Remember to just kind of relax everything. You should feel a little bit of a stretch in your back and maybe in your leg if you can. Great work, everybody. Alrighty, and whenever you're ready, you can come back and just be lying on the ground again. Great job. And since we're already in the position, we can move to the baby pose. So what we're doing is we're just gonna like lift up our feet and we can either grab our feet or we can grab our knees. 
And we just want to let our legs kind of spread out to either side of our body. And it'll open up our hips a little bit. And we can definitely just try to let our knees kind of come to our sides almost. Or if you're grabbing your feet, just make sure your knees are outside of your arms, right? So your arms go between your knees to grab the feet. Great work. And just sit there. You can let your hips open a little bit. If you want, you can do a little bit of a rocking side to side motion. Great work, everybody. All righty. And whenever you're ready, you can sit on up. Great work. And then our last one of the day is we're going to do our child's pose. All right, so we're just going to kind of sit here with our forehead on the ground. And we're just going to let our back relax. All right, so we just want these muscles to come and relax a lot. So we can just feel ourselves melting into the floor and just kind of let our arms and our shoulders and our legs and sometimes even our necks and our head just kind of relax on the floor and just let it all go. I like to close my eyes and do a couple of breaths while I'm here. And just let yourself relax. All right, and whenever you're ready, we can sit on up. And that's actually going to be it for today. Done yeah. A little bit early. Yeah, come on, nobody else is following. <laughs> no. oh, I'm going to stop.